Hi, my name is Hilmar. My name is Joyce, and today is the International Science Day. And Wageningen University is one of the life, life centers, the centers of life sciences in the Netherlands. And that's why we will take you along to one of the most exciting laboratories we have here on campus. And there we will meet one of the experts in marine biology. But before we go, we need some, some lab goes. I think it's right. No. Perfect, let's go. Right. So we arrived at the laboratory of marine biology. Yeah, let's go inside. Yes. Okay, so for our own safety and for the fish's safety, we have to put on these uh, socks. And we gotta wash our hands. This is Tim. Hi Tim. Hi. He's a marine biologist and he's going to show us around in his laboratory. Coral reefs are very important ecosystems that provide a lot of food and biodiversity, coastal protection. So coral reefs are important and that is why we study them. So this is a setup where we study the effects of climate change on corals because coral is an animal and these corals live in symbiosis with plants, tiny algae known as zooxanthellae. And when the seawater gets too warm due to climate change, due to hot summers, the algae are expelled. They are thrown away basically by the coral animal and the coral bleaches. Simultaneously, we study how a UV filter, oxybenzone, affects corals. Because we use sunscreens to protect our skin when we are swimming on coral reefs. And we think it kills coral. That's why we're studying the effects of climate change, so warm water and sunscreens simultaneously. So, Tim, do you think science can still save the coral reef? Is there still hope? I think there's still hope for coral reefs, but I think ultimately we as a society have to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions by transitioning to renewable energy sources. You can also do that at home. So there is hope, but we have to act fast. And do we have last advice for coming students? Well, my advice to students is to follow their dreams, their passions. I mean, I started 13 years ago working with corals because I kept them in an aquarium when I was a student. So find out what motivates you. And together we can save the world. Maybe we can, if we use a Lycra or a t-shirt instead of Oxybenzone and all these nasty sunscreens. I think we can all uh, play a small part and make some positive changes. Awesome. So no sunscreen when you go swimming? No. We really enjoyed today. <laughs> we had a lot of fun today and we hope you enjoyed watching this video as well. Yeah, so if you would like to know more about science here at Wageningen University and Research, then please visit Hilmar. What are you doing? So if you want to know more about science here at Wageningen University and Research, uh, please visit our channels and and what? Oh, don't forget to like, subscribe <laughs> and share. <laughs> Alright. See ya. See ya.